Welcome to Videorial W07007 Microsoft Word Basics, creating a template for a standard working document. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create um, a template for a general purpose standard working document. That's a document that you might use um, to put some notes in or for compiling research. Um, if you work in an office, you might create a procedure or a performance management report. Uh, day-to-day -day documents that you need in order to function or work or study. Um, now, I've opened up Word. I'm just going to zoom in, hit control on the keyboard and move the mouse wheel forward. Or alternatively, I could go view 100%. That's better. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is get you to save the document. Hugely important. I do this as a matter of course now. Every document I produce, whether it's a Word document or a, a graphics document or file, I always save it. Um, I always give it an appropriate name as well. I'm, I don't want to waste time having to open the document to figure out what's in it. Uh, working document template. And I'm, for convenience, going to put it on my desktop. I would suggest that you put it in, on, in the file server in your area or your department's area, uh, somewhere where everybody can see it. Now, there we go. Now, from here on in, every few minutes, all I have to do to save the document is hit Control S. Uh, I live and work in Thailand. The power is forever going off. Um, I don't ever want to be in a position where I've, I've lost anything more than a few minutes' work. Okay, I have had students in the past work for four hours writing an essay uh, and the power go off and then the look of horror on their face when they've realised that they didn't save it and then having to do the whole lot again. Uh, it's soul destroying. You shouldn't have to do that. Get into the habit, save it straight away, control S, control S whenever you need to save it. Now, the document's opened. Uh, first thing, first... I want to maximize the space on the page that I can utilize, okay? Now, I'm going to go from normal, which is the default. So if you go into the margins, page layout, margins, narrow. That's the one I'm going to suggest you use. Now, the reason why I'm suggesting that is because most printers only require about five millimeters space around the outside of a page in order to grip the paper and feed it through the printer. Okay, so if you've got a margin that's twice that size, you're going to lose probably about an inch to an inch and a half of, of space around the outside of the paper. It's not cost effective. Ink and paper and actually paper click printers are very expensive. Uh, a huge overhead for businesses and schools. Now, um, that explains margins. We're ready to go now with a header. Now, it's important to put a header in so that when you send it to the printer and the printer quite often lives in a different room or in a different part of the building. When it does print, there's usually a delay between you printing and, and, and going to pick it up. Um, if there is a delay, quite often, and this has happened to me an awful lot, the printing is gone when you arrive. You're left thinking, did it print? But generally, either someone's put it on the bin or they've taken it with them when they've picked their own stuff up. So it's important to put a name uh, and some other information on there so that people know that it's, it's yours and to leave it and that Oh, okay, that's Andy's work. He'll be along in a minute. Now, to add a header, I'm going to recommend that you go to the insert menu along the ribbon at the top. Header. Okay. Edit header. Now, an alternative way to do that, if I just close, is to double-click in this portion of the screen. Okay. See the blue bit on the left there? Track along. Double-click. Right, we're in again. Now, I'm going to start with my name. Very important, that tells the person who's at the printer whose work it is. I'm going to hit tab. Now that tabs me across. The tab button is the fourth button up on the left-hand side of the keyboard. Um, it's tabbed me to a center tab. So anything I write here uh, will be centered on that tab. It should be the title of the document. Okay, I'm going to hit tab again. Now here you might put the date, but also you might put the department in which you work. Now, done. Um, the only thing I will say is that it doesn't quite sit flush with the right-hand margin, does it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the tab, keep the left mouse button uh, pressed down, and then drag to the right-hand side. 
Okay, now this isn't central either, this central tab. So again, I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to use my eye looking at the screen to figure out where it, when it looks right. That looks about perfect. Now, one other thing. If I was to close the header now, which I'll do just to show you, look at how close the text is on the page to the actual header. Now, the header will print. Um, so if you print the two together, it, it won't look very nice. So I'm going to go back into the header. You go insert header, edit header. I'm going to go to the right hand side after the word department. I'm going to hit enter once. That adds an extra line underneath. Okay, close header. Perfect, done. Now I'm just going to hit control S to save it. Now I'm going to add some formatting to enable me to add a title, a heading, and some text for body text. It just means that when I open up the document again, I don't have to reformat. So I'm going to put the title goes here, dot, dot, dot. Um, the heading goes here, the main body of the text goes here. Now, I've just typed those in, they're kind of like placeholders for the text uh, that we're actually going to put in when you create the document for real. I'm going to remove any formatting uh, that's apl been applied. Now it automatically puts Calibri as the font. It might be different on your machine depending on the fonts you've got available. I'm going to change all of the fonts in this document, at least in the main body, to Arial. So I'm going to hit Control A or I could just click, tr keep the left mouse button held down and then drag. Um, I'm going to change it to now, I could select from one of the options here, or I could just start to type it here, and it comes up. Okay, I just hit the tab button, and that moves me across to the size. I want to reduce it, so I could select it, or I could just do that. There's lots of ways of doing it. That takes care of font and font size. I'm actually going to remove line spacing, or at least paragraph spacing. So I'm going to go into this button here, line spacing. I'm going to remove the spacing after. There we go. So there's no paragraph formatting now that, other than line spacing, which is 1.15, which to be honest, you shouldn't mess with. Um, we're ready to go. Now this is going to be the title. So I'm going to suggest you use either a 16 or an 18 size font. I'm going to make it bold. And I'm going to apply some paragraph formatting after. I'm going to make it 12 point. Plenty of room between the title and the next heading. Okay. Now, as you can hear, I'm uh, suffering from allergies. I do apologise. Um, it's, uh, it's not he knows. Anyway, I'm going to make this heading uh, bold as well. But I'm going to use... No, that's too big. I'm going to use a 12 point here. Now, for the heading and the main body text, I'm going to apply line spacing of 6 point. Okay, so every time I hit enter, it will, it will apply 6 point spacing underneath the line. That I've just been working on okay this is pretty much it okay now I'll save it for one last time and I'll close it down now how you would use this document is that you would go to the repository or the the temp where the template lives you would open it up as I've just done and you would go file or hit the office button save as and you'd give it a new name depending on what it was that you would you were doing uh, it's World Book Day on Friday this week. Ideas for costumes. A general purpose document, that's what it is. I could put... Uh, uh, is it February? No, it's March. March 2012. Okay, I'm going to put an underscore in there. Again, save it on the desktop, but you'd put it on your file server somewhere. Right, now first thing, I'm going to go in and change the heading, the header. Uh, World Book Day Ideas. That takes care of the heading. I'm going to change the title. Ideas. And then I'm going to put the title or subtitle, children's books. And then... I can start writing my notes. Okay. Now, if I want to make another subheading, what I can do is just 
drag, select, control C, or just go copy, hit enter, maybe once more, paste. And then I can put um, grown up books. Okay, now I can just, again, control S. That is pretty much how this template should work. The idea is that you're not having to recreate the document from scratch every single time. Work like this, in, at least in an office, is pretty mundane. It's stuff that, that we need to do, it's necessary, but it's not the most interesting um, job that you'll ever do. So those sorts of jobs need to be done quickly and efficiently so that we can get them done and get on with some things that are more important and interesting. Um, that's pretty much it for creating a, a template for a standard working document. Thank you for watching.